Hello, everybody. Dan D. Federichis of Saratoga Report. And this is a big day for me. We have a very special guest on, someone that just about all of you absolutely know, but uh, just in case I will explain a little bit, Tom Durkin, uh, the now retired but longtime announcer for the New York Racing Association from 1990 until his retirement in 2014. Uh, he also spent a long time with NBC Sports for 26 years. Uh, uh, announced so many of the Triple Crown races near and dear to me uh, with my late mother. We would watch watch them. She'd always guess a name and always out, out pick me. And it was Tom doing the announcement. And uh, that was very fun. And then he's he's been a longtime resident of Saratoga Springs as well. Um, he has many. He won an Eclipse Award of Merit in 2015, a career that is second to none. Uh, Mr. Durkin, how, how are you doing this warm uh, late Late summer morning. Oh, I got a promotion, huh, Mr. Durkin? Thank you. <laughs> Thank, thanks for joining us today. And, you know, probably one of the biggest things I admire about you is that you are a man that keeps reinventing yourself. You you do new things. You don't sit sit still. You go from one thing and then, you know, you you were an announcer, then, then you were a horse owner, and you had a few other things going on. And now you are your latest venture – is pretty exciting to me because uh, I have a personal connection to it. But you are now a teacher at Saratoga Central Catholic, teaching um, uh, high schoolers uh, the art of public speaking. Did, did I get that completely correct? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's just one day a week, one class a week, and uh, okay, it's got to be a small class. I'm limiting it to just ten students uh, because part the biggest part of the course the biggest purpose of the course is to get you in front of a crowd and speak so everybody's got to give a little speech uh, every week so that takes up a big chunk of the class time okay and, and, and what what grade level are, uh, are are eligible to enter your class uh these are for juniors and seniors uh because i remember what i was like when i was a sophomore and i want no part of <laughs> <laughs> have, now, in all your ventures, have you ever taught kids or had a, a supervisory role with with kids? Uh, with kids, no. I did. I did uh, give a course uh, in continuing an adult education at Saratoga High School for uh, adults in public speaking. But uh, no, uh, it, it, it's going to be a new event, and, and, and I don't have any kids myself, so. Um, it'll, I'll probably learn a lot more than they will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so, so what's your, were, were you excited? Did you have any nervousness? Cause it was such a new venture for you. What, what was your mindset there? Yeah. Cause you had one class, correct already? Yes. Yes. So, uh, we meet on Wednesdays. Um, I, one thing I learned from, uh, calling races, you know, and you said, were you nervous about it? I mean, if you're going to call a Kentucky Derby, there's 50 million people out there listening to you, and that's pretty good cause to be nervous. But the, the main way to avoid that is to be prepared. And this is what I'm telling my students. Some of them, um, you know, are a little apprehensive about getting up and public speaking. Public, fear of public speaking is the number one phobia in America. 40% of people in America have a fear of public speaking. It's more than the fear of death itself. <laughs> so you could be the guy that's giving, they want you to do the eulogy. You would rather be in the coffin <laughs> than be up there and giving a public speech. So it's, it's something that uh, I hope to, uh, if any of the kids have a problem that way, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. I, I, I don't mean to laugh, but it, it's so crazy, isn't it? What you just said that you, someone would rather be be dead than to be given a speech. And I, I think a lot of us have felt that over the years. And um, and you you taught, you said uh, some years back, uh, the adult uh, continuing education class. And then for the adults here that, that do uh, understand what Tom Dorgan is talking about, you know, Toastmasters is a great organization to work through, uh, to, to get your, uh, uh, to, to hone your skills in public speaking and remove the fears. Um, so, so back to the uh, Saratoga Catholic uh, students, 
the um, you said you're going to learn more from them in your first class. Did, did you uh, what was what are your uh, reaction? Did you pick something up? What was the were you excited? Uh, one thing is, I, I, I don't think we have the same sense of humor. <laughs> that I thought was, hey, that's pretty funny. Crickets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I, they went, oh, really? You know, so uh, I, I've taken that in, into consideration that we, myself and the students, have had a completely different set of uh, life experiences. And so I've just got to be aware of that, you know. Sure. There, there used to be a, a list published, it probably still is, every September about the incoming freshman college class and what was reality to them. You know, like one year I read it and they said to them, Elvis was always dead. And I was like, oh, my God, that, that was shocking. And that list was really gave me some perspective on the younger generation, what what their reality is versus my reality versus your reality. It, uh, it was a real interesting list. So yeah, that you mentioned that. Uh, I find that with my daughters, right? They're, the rolling of the eyes with a dad joke. Exactly. Yeah, there's no question about that. <laughs> yeah. I, um, so I, um, um, I, I wanted to ask you a little more. Um, so will you be picking up more classes in the future? Would you go back to adult ed? Because you, maybe you're, you're liking it. How, how will your teaching I, career I, take uh, off here? Yeah, I really enjoy the kids. Uh, it, 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 Spot Catholic is a is a small school. I mean, there are only three hundred and thirty students in there, and I'm limiting it to juniors and seniors. Right. Uh, but the, right now, uh, the class is uh, uh, one quarter. That's uh, nine or ten uh, classes per quarter. Okay. Um, quarter, and then the second quarter will take me up to January fifteenth. The third quarter, I'll be down in North Carolina. And then the fourth quarter, I'll be back April 15th to the end of the scholastic year. So that'll be the schedule. And I'm sure that things will be uh, uh, handled a little differently uh, next year. I don't know exactly. I don't know what's, what it's going to be, whether the class could be bigger or smaller, meet more frequently. Uh, I just don't know. Okay, excellent. Well, listen, this is really exciting for me. Uh, like I told you off camera, um, my my daughters are in the pipeline for Saratoga Central Catholic, which is such a great school. They're doing such great things there. Bringing you in, I, I thought was just wonderful. It was brilliant. It has that, you know, first of all, your 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 resume is second to none. But with that Saratoga connection, where where, where else, uh, you know, where else could, who else could you get to speak to teach public speaking here in Saratoga Springs, but Tom Dirk. And so I thank you for uh, doing this. I, uh, I thank you for joining me today and looking forward to, to seeing you down the road. All right, Dan. Enjoyed it. Take care.